Welcome back. In this Python tutorial, we're going to go over geocoding and distance measurement with GeoPy. A quick note, when you are geocoding, not all names and addresses will be recognized. If you would like to access the GeoPy documentation, you can go to this address here. For the imports, we're going to import GeoPy, Pandas, IPy Leaflet, IPy Widgets, and the Vega datasets. For our first example, we're going to go over how to pull in geolocation data from an address. So here we have our address. Then we're going to use nominatum that we pulled in here. Then we assign a custom string to the user agent, and that will be unique for each user. Then we use geocode and we put in the address. And we assign that to the ND500 variable. Then we can use that variable dot address to get the full address. We can also get the latitude and the longitude. And then here we can use raw to get all of the data associated with that address. Next, let's go over how we can get geolocation data from a list of addresses. Here we have pulled in a data frame with some data on some of the tallest buildings. Now, for this example, we're going to use the rate limiter, and that helps perform bulk operations while gracefully handling error responses and adding delays when needed. And part of the reason that we use the rate limiter is because the nominatum usage policy requirement is a maximum of one request per second. And if you'd like more information on that, you can visit this address here. To create the geocoder, we use the rate limiter with the nominatum. We put in our user agent dot geocode with a minimum delay of one second. Then we use the data frame buildings column here. And we apply the geocoder. And we assign that to a new column in the data frame. And the new column is here. Then we can use that location column with apply and a lambda to get the latitude and longitude. And then we go ahead and add the latitude and longitude to the data frame as columns. Another thing you can do with GeoPy is to get the address from the latitude and longitude. For this example, we're going to use the airport's data frame from the Vega datasets. Then we go ahead and use nominatum with reverse, and we put in the latitude and the longitude, which would be this latitude and longitude here. And we assign that to the airport variable. To get the address, we use dot address. And then to get all of the location data, we can use raw. GeoPy has lots of other options that you can use to get geolocation data. So for our next example, we're going to go over how you can use Bing. The first thing you'll need to do to use the Bing geocoder is to get an API key. Okay. The first thing we did is we used geopy.geocoders.bing. Then we put in our API key. Then we used geocode and we put in the address. And for this example, we're going to pull out the latitude and the longitude. And you can see the output here. For more information on the other geocoder services you can use, just check out the GeoPy documentation. Now, let's go over an example on how to use GeoPy to calculate distances. So basically, all you have to do to calculate the distance between two points is to use distance.distance. .distance, and then put in the start location latitude and longitude and the end location latitude and longitude. To import the distance, we use from GeoPy import distance. So for this example, we used our data frame, which is the distance from the Thigpen Airport to the Livingston Airport.
And then here we have one last example. So what we can do is to use these drop downs and it will plot a route onto the map from the start location to the end location. So this route is from the Thigpen Airport to the Livingston Airport. And using the GeoPy distance, it gives us the distance. And we can also test that measurement using this tool here. And the distance won't match exactly, but it will be pretty close. So here we have an example from the Capital Airport to the DeKalb Airport with a distance of about 200 miles. That's all we have for this tutorial. Join us again next time.